few days after Tinubu's inauguration, his first daughter, Fola Shadi Tinubu Ojo, declared herself as the Iya Loja of Nigeria. Following her declaration, she added in a statement, My father is now the president of Nigeria, so I want to use my power to support him, to gather information from people and seek people's opinion and refer it to my father. That was a statement made by Tinubu's first daughter, Fola Shadi Tinubu Ojo. The question Nigerians are asking, what would be the work of the first lady if the first daughter start gathering information for the president of Nigeria? According to Nigeria's constitution, there was no position of the first daughter of the Federal Republic of Nigeria but first lady. The issue of Tinubu's first daughter for Lashade Tinubu Ojo saying she wants to help his father to make the country a good one is practically considered as pride. Olashade Tinubu Ojo is married to Oladimeji Oyetunde Ojo, a politician from Ekiti State. Of a truth, if Olashade is looking for whom to help, she should go and help her husband, not her father. The position of the first lady is for the first lady, not for the first daughter. <laughs> it has never been held in the Nigerian history that the first daughter is among the presidential cabinet rule. According to Lagos residents, Folashede is considered as Iyeloja of Lagos. Iyeloja means mother of market, meaning her effort should focus more in the issue related to the market, not Nigeria. From the information as so far, Folashede Tinubu has been a good mother to market women. Apart from being the mother of market, she has been honored with numerous chieftaincy titles in different states. Of no doubt, she is accurately fit for the position of Eologer, but she should not use the fact that her father is the president of Nigeria to enter the office of the first lady. Even though she declared herself the Eologer of Nigeria after inauguration party of her father. On the other hand, is Orule Mitinubu, the first lady of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. It was also said that the first lady had meeting with the presidential cabinet member, which has never happened in the Nigerian history. According to Nigerian constitution, the of the first lady is to attend to the youth, women, especially old women, and those that are in need. It was never heard nor seen that the first lady is holding a meeting with the presidential cabinet. There have been speculation in the country saying that the first lady of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Olure Mitinubu, broke protocols. We know very well that Oluremi is a politician too, but that should not give her the mind to hold meeting with the presidential cabinet. In today's video, I will be sharing with you the contribution of the first lady to the Nigeria and the contribution of the first daughter of the Federal Republic of Nigeria for Lashade Tinubu Ojo. Without much talk, let's dive into the main video. Folashade Tinubu Ojo. Folashade Tinubu Ojo is the first daughter and the second child of Ahmed Bola Tinubu. Folashade has been a source of inspiration and pride to Lagos residents. She has never left any stone unturned by inaugurating adequate security across the market. She is currently the ear lodger of Lagos, chosen by her grandmother, Ahaji Abibatu Mogaji. Olashade is honored with several chieftaincy titles across the state. She is married to a state politician, Oyetunde Oladimeji Ojo. Olashade and her husband are blessed with two children. Olashade attended Federal College of Education, Oyo, where she studied home economics. She later proceeded to prestigious Middlesex University in London, where she got her BSc. Olashade is the true color of her father. Ahmed Bola Tinubu Senator Oluremi Tinubu Oluremi Tinubu is the wife of Bola Tinubu, the first lady of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Oluremi Tinubu has contributed a lot in nation security. 
she was listed alongside with Babajide, Sanwo Olu, Tony Elumelu, and other prominent people for the Echo Excellence Award. In 2020, she called for the creation of state police as a way of tackling the rising speed of insecurity in the country. She is a firm believer in investing in society human capital and a youth empowerment and skill acquisition scheme. In collaboration with Good Boys and Girls Empowerment Scheme, she has about 1,175 beneficiaries, about 163 youth were trained on various skills and receive upkeep and capital about 40,000 each. In March 2021, she proposed a bill to reform the Nigerian Postal Service to make it a more viable entity. She became the first lady of Lagos when her husband, Ahmed Bola Adekule Tinubu, was elected as the governor of Lagos State. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please, if you like this kind of video, kindly subscribe to this channel and never you forget to click on the bell notification icon to get notified anytime I drop a new video. Thank you very much.